Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFrodo.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the new and innovative keyboard app called Minim. Right before I get to that, I do want to remind you that this review is sponsored in part by AndyTags.com. Head over to AndyTags.com after the review and check out all the cool NFC tags and keychains and find out all about NFC on your Android phone and what it can do for you. So, getting right to the review, Minim Keyboard. Uh, it's cool, it's innovative, it's different. It's a keyboard that takes your entire keyboard and condenses it to basically one single row at the bottom of your screen, which sounds kind of ridiculous, like how in the world could it possibly work? Uh, but I've been using it for a couple of weeks and it actually works pretty darn well. So uh, let's hop on my phone so I can show you what it is, how it works, the different options and settings, and uh, you can just see it for yourself. Okay, so here we are on my phone, and here at the bottom you see the Minim keyboard. And as you can see, it's about as uh, minimal as you can get when it comes to keyboards. It's just right there at the uh, bottom of the screen. Uh, it does uh, predict, uh, try to predict your next word if you haven't typed anything yet. Uh, you can long press on something to get the row above it and pick a number or something of that nature. Uh, and there are some other options that I'll show you in a minute, but first I just want to show you how it works. So uh, let me just uh, type something for you. So, as you saw, I typed I'm now doing an Android app review, and it got all my words correct. Even though they're t just letters, tiny little letters, uh, it uses an algorithm to understand what it is you're trying to type and does a good job. It has cool features, as you could see at the, at, uh, uh, whenever you want to space, you just scroll across and that spaces. If you want to uh, put a period, you scroll twice, it puts a period, but it immediately gives you other punctuations, so if you wanted that to be an exclamation point, you would just choose it and it would become that. When you want to delete something, you just swipe back. Swiping back deletes an entire word. Very simple, very easy to do. It does also give you quick access. Uh, you might say, well, where's the return button? You swipe and go up and that returns. So you can see my cursor is now two lines down. But if you want to do voice input, well, they have a way to do that too. You swipe and then go up and that takes you right into uh, Google uh, uh, Voice Input. So they have the, all that built into this very minimal keyboard. You still have your typical uh, all caps uh, uh, button here to go first letter cap or all caps. So that's there. And if you want any of the numbers or any of the punctuation then you just long press and choose the number. Now there are other cool options that you have here. If you want to use a full-size keyboard, you just swipe up from the top and it turns into a full-size keyboard, so you can use that. Once you're in there, if you want to press that button, then that turns auto-correction on or off. And then it's just pretty much a normal keyboard that you have. And then when you don't want to go back to the minimum, you just swipe down. Which of course is how you're probably want most, mostly going to want to use this because that's what makes it unique and that's what makes it really cool. Some of the other features that it does have, if you swipe down on this, you see it changes the bottom row to numbers so that you can use numbers and punctuation above that. And then you swipe down on it again to get it back to letters. There are other things. If you long press and choose the star right here, then you get a bunch of uh, emoticons and if you press a little arrow you'll see there's a gazillion of them that they have and they have different categories bunch of different uh, emoticons when you're done with that you just press this little X and they go away and then if you don't want that row there anymore you just long press and choose the star again and they go away also if you long press the caps button you get the option to change to numbers 
change back to letters. You can also change over to the full size keyboard. So besides the swipe buttons, you can do it using that method as well. And you also get the option for the voice input. And then you have other options over here. And that takes you over to pick a different keyboard if you want a different keyboard. Now let's go into settings. So I can just show you, show you some of the settings that you have in Minim. You do have a tutorial that will teach you how to use, at least how to start using it. It's good to do that at first. And then a cheat sheet that helps you. You can customize the look and feel of it, which is really cool. You can select uh, any theme. Uh, dark theme, light theme, blue theme. I did a custom theme, so the theme, so the colors you saw, the colors that I picked. Uh, you can enable the space bar. If you don't want to do the swipe to space, you can put a space bar on the bottom. Uh, but again, having that off gives you more screen. If you uh, have the space bar on, then you can uh, disable gestures so that sliding across doesn't uh, go to the next word if you want. You can show uh, lowercase and uppercase lettering on the keyboard depending on what, what case you have it in. So I'll turn that on. So when I go back, that'll show. Uh, word suggestion height, you can change that if you want. If you have the space bar, you can select how you want the space bar height. You can also select how high you want the mini keyboard to be. So you can make it be a little bit bigger if you want to. And then the full keyboard height. You could make it be a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller if you wanted to. So you can uh, change that just a little bit. Let's take this up just a little bit just to uh, show uh, so you can see how that is when we go back to it. Sounds and vibration, you can decide if you want there to be sound. I have sound turned off because uh, I had it on for a while and realized it's very annoying to hear sounds every time you tap a key. So I turn that off, uh, but you can have that. And they do have options for different types of sounds and you can select the volume and the pitch and then the vibration duration if you use that. And then you can select the language and the layout all right here. Uh, select language and layout, so English and then you have QWERTY, alphabetical, QWERTS, Azerty, Comac, or Dvorak. Um, obviously, if you use US keyboard, you're used to using QWERTY keyboard, so it makes sense to stick with that because the letters, although they're all squished down on the bottom row, they're relatively, as far as uh, vertically, they're where they normally would be, so it makes it easier. You can select the punctuation layout, auto, US, UK, or Euro. And then you can uh, replace voice input gesture with language switching. So instead of opening voice input, if you are someone that types in two different languages a lot, you can use the uh, swipe up, swipe over and up gesture to uh, initiate a language switch as opposed to uh, Google voice input. And then there are some experimental and advanced settings. I'm not going to show you those. Uh, those will probably be regular settings in the future, but right now they're experimental, so they're not really going to change that much. Now let's uh, type in here and you might can tell we've changed the size of the keyboard just a little bit and the letters instead of being all caps like they were now the letters on the keyboard are reflecting the case that we're in and since I'm in lowercase that's what they're reflecting. But uh, as you can see it's uh, a really cool keyboard uh, works really well uh, and I'm going to uh, end this review by typing of course I'm typing around my uh, camera so it's a little bit harder than normal typing but still you can see it gets gets the words right occasionally the first word it suggests may not be right but the word you were thinking probably is up here and so you just tap that when you tap a word you don't have to space because it inserts the space automatically when you choose a word so anyway uh, that is the Minim keyboard that was Minim keyboard as you can see very cool uh, new concept as far as the way it works uh, it's very unique because it does allow you to continue to see your entire screen and not have to give up half of your screen in order to enter text. And the algorithm they use does a pretty good job of uh, predicting what it is you're trying to type, even if you don't hit every letter exactly right. So definitely worth checking out. Uh, you can check it out on the Play Store, download a trial version, see if you like it. If you do, then you can purchase the full version. 
Anyway, that is going to be it for this review. If you like this review, please click that like button. Head over to my channel and check out all the other videos that I have. Uh, over 150 Android apps that I've picked out as being the best Android apps to help you get the best out of your phone. So check out some of those videos and find out about some cool new apps. Also a Tasker tutorial series if you're interested in learning about Tasker, as well as a lot of electronics and gadget reviews, home appliances, and even dog product reviews. You can favorite your uh, playlist that you're interested in or just subscribe to my channel and keep up with new videos. Anyway, that is going to be it. Until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.